Do you want to get to this to some silly stuff? <laughs> Which silly well, stuff? Well, it's not really. Oh well, I will say Jada Pinkett is the silly stuff right now. Yeah, I mean it's. <clears throat> but listen, this is what a press run is supposed to be about. That's what this is. You all want press. to roll? You want to roll the book out and get the the people talking? You want to get these pre sales? You want to get all this stuff going? This is what you do. She has been doing her press circuit. She's been doing her runs and revealing things that have blown the cover off of her marriage, off of you name it, whatever it is. Jada is revealing it in these interviews that have been out this week. So it started when we got back that she interviewed with Hoda. Who's that? Hoda Coteby from um, the Today Show. Okay. Um, on Hoda <laughs> and Jenna. So she did a one-on-one with Hoda. And Hoda got a pre-copy of the book and said the most shocking thing that she read was that Jada revealed that her and Will have been separated since 2016. Mm-hmm. And Jada's sitting there like, Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Hoda's like, whoa, how does that work? Cause y'all been hitting the red carpet and running around and everything, like everything is like y'all together. And she's just like, Well, we weren't ready to she says she wasn't ready to put that out there. And that um they weren't in a space of making that public. So they just acted like everything was fine. This is uh, the black delegate, black woman delegation guidance on how to talk about this. No, I don't think so. This is Jada Pinkett Smith doing cause, this. Because from, cause from, from my standpoint, she just talked too much. You think she talked too much? No, I understand she talks for a living now. This is a book. This, She's, But this is just what she does. She talks for a living. Yeah, she had Red, Red Table, Table Talk. Talk. Now that's gone, right? Yes. It's <clears throat> and so she's writing books and stuff because yeah. she's not really doing much acting right, at this not. point, right? Because right. um, the well, last stuff she had was... Um, the Ken- well, Keanu was she in that? Well, what was the Matrix? She Matrix stuff, yes. right? Which is huge in enterprise and uh, money you know, maker. Uh, yeah, it's huge. So, mm-hmm. um, and it's like at what cost? Uh, this is from outside looking in, right? All right, this is all entertainment for us because we have no idea what they do, what they're about, so on and so forth. So, but it's like uh, the Tupac stuff. Like, when does it end? Like. It almost feels like she's using Tupac to a to whatever degree to to for her own agenda. Well, so far this week she's revealed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. So Christ. far this week she's revealed that while Tupac was in Rikers, he asked her to marry him. Right. We didn't need to know that, Jay. Come on, man. He can't even speak to it. And last night. An interview that she did revealed that Tupac had alopecia, hence why he was bald. bald. I said, "Is this Lord. something that he wanted out?" <laughs> I ain't even heard that. Yeah, that was last night. That was last night's new revelation. So she's like going on this journey. Uh, she's put the book is out, so now she's going and she's talking about the journey that she had within herself to get through the various traumas within her life and let me be clear it's her story yeah so she has the right to tell her story this yes. is all just we having fun with it. i am having right. fun with this because it does come off crazy right it comes off crazy like she made will looks crazy why are you slap chris rock over a chick you're not even with i mean and she speaks to that she said that she was very she thought it was a skit she said she thought it was weird because Will hadn't referred to her as his wife in years. So I was like, I, I don't know. Why you do that? And she also revealed that a while back, Chris Rock had actually asked her out because he heard that they were getting a divorce. Oh, so this, so he asked her out before the before slap. Before the slap. Before the slap. Before the slap. He asked okay, her I ain't out. mad at that. Oh, so you know what? Maybe this there was something like, else with yeah, that slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Will being but, pissed because you trying to holler. But you ain't with her. Hey, listen. You know what I'm saying? So this further, I guess, you know, the rumors and the swirlings that Jada has been with several other women um, recently, that Will has been with other women. They've like been, all the, they, so they've basically, been talking about him. Everybody's been talking yeah. that they were in an open, open relationship. Right. So now we basically know, okay, so they ain't been together. So that's why they've been with other people because they ain't really been together. Right. And so, but here's my thing. 
this ain't nothing new in the black community. We all got an uncle such and such and aunt such and such who are still married right now, today, and ain't together. They don't live together. They both have moved on and they got somebody else in their life, but yeah. they still married. Yeah. They still want each other's <laughs> benefits. They still got each other's <laughs> insurance, whatever. He, one is still the beneficiary of the other's whatever. We have. That happens. We have this in the black community. This is nothing new. It's just that these are celebrities. Yeah. And they're like Christian scientist people, too. Uh, well, they have their own religion, I thought. Huh? I thought they had their own religion. They I never, th- they never. I thought, I thought Will Smith was on that uh, Tom Cruise shit. Scientology. Yeah, they shit. never, they never confirmed they were, they were reviewing. But remember, they were trying to open their own school with their own religion a while back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Watched many documentaries on Netflix. Sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> they were opening their own school with their nah, own stuff. Were they? Yes. <laughs> so, but what I'm saying, my point is that this is. Well, I'm I'm with you. I hear you. I understand yeah. what you're saying. This ain't some the black. This ain't no black family type shit. This ain't a, This ain't the black auntie and uncle that's still on their own same insurance and still married after being separated type shit to me. Really? Nah. This is this is some uh, they, This is the to maintain the image type of thing. It seems. Oh, it is definitely to maintain the image, but also you gotta think about the finances. They've been married for a long ass time, long time. and Will has made a lot of money mm-hmm. in this time <clears throat> period, and I think. I think this mo- also probably explains why the kids are the way they are because the kids been known that they've been split and the kids been having to be quiet about this shit mm. all this time. I, it, it totally makes sense about why Jaden has acted the way he's acted. It, it just all makes so much sense now. So which one of them or maybe both of them stop knowing how to make themselves happy? Because a long time ago, Will Smith said, "I can't be the one to make right. her happy." They, they realized that uh-huh. it's not it's your your own job to make yourself happy. It's not my job to make you happy. So who who became unhappy? Who who stopped learn, learn, knowing how to make themselves happy? I think it was. I think it, she was never happy. She could, because she wanted to be married to Tupac. Well, from early on, remember when she found out that she okay, so like way back. I don't remember what the interview was, but she was talking about how when she found out that she was pregnant with Jaden and then they just rushed to get married. This Mm. is never something that she ever really, she didn't believe in marriage originally. She never, it was never a focus for her. Mm. She felt like everything was really, really rushed Mm. and she didn't want it. And she remember being pregnant while they, when they were getting married and she was just not pleased about the process. Stayed around for a long ass time. Yeah. I saw a meme the other day that said um, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith reveals that she's never met Will Smith. <laughs> I saw that shit too. And the one I Jeez. posted, the one I posted today said Jada said them kids ain't ain't Will. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, but again, this is a press. This is what a press run is. How much? Oh God! Press, yeah, it's this a is rollout. a brilliant rollout. It's a rollout. She's on different people's podcasts that they all released this week. She's got different interviews. She's got an interview with Jay Shetty on his podcast. That's the Indian guy who used to be the Buddhist monk. Who's right now, you know, she's got one with him. She's on with those three guys, the the, the three former NFL players. The one that's real freaky. Pivot. Is that the, oh, she's on Pivot? Yeah, she's on with those guys. Then she did Hoda. Um, she's hit some really big markets to get this book rolling. I pre-ordered on Audible. I feel like... Um, I the, ordered a book. I, I, that makes sense. I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, you got the audio book? Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like black men already we already was like, yo, she, she on some bullshit, right? I mm-hmm. feel like even the black women are starting to be like... All right, Jada, like, you're doing I mean, a lot. I just don't understand. I, I think there's such hatred towards her that I don't think it needs to be. I mean, yeah, we can be tired, like, but when yeah, the slap I don't know if anybody happened, hates her. when the slap happened, there mm-hmm. was a lot of hatred for her. Oh, Everyone yeah, she got vitriol for it sure. Was her fault mm-hmm. that she made Will do it. Yeah. She said she was sitting there just to shock everybody else because she was like, well, what the hell going on? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, people are tired. It's, it's, but again, 
its brilliant rollout for the book. The book is going to sell. It's going to be a New York Times bestseller. What does week. it take to be a New York Times bestseller? I don't know. But Everybody I, book seems like, this is not about Jay that does Right. Book. A lot of books be New York Times Every, Everything's a New York Times bestseller. Yeah. Jeezy had one recently. Yeah. Everybody. He, and I don't know nobody that got that book. His was a New York Times bestseller and he announced his divorce. Yeah, is that what we're doing around <laughs> books now? <laughs> Damn. That's I'm going to write a book, lie to them. Yeah. We still going to be up in here? You are not going to write no book talking about we divorcing. No, the book ain't going to be about us divorcing, but I write the book about whatever my life is about. Uh-huh. Then I'm going to be like, yeah, me and Trina ain't together no more. The podcast is done. We can take two weeks off. Book goes off the shelves. Come right back. We got an arrangement. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Come on. It's not not for the money. No. Oh, so you have you have some morals and standards. Hell yeah. Because some people do anything. I'm good. Hey, anything for money. I'm good. I'm not that person. I know you're not. not that's that my point. Right. Some people do anything for money, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. It's all about money. I'm good. Yeah. You're, yeah. I know that. You know what I'm saying? I, I was just joking, Trina. Relax. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying But people it, It's all about the rollout shit Yeah So this is a brilliant <clears throat> rollout I'm sure her publicist Is really happy That everyone's talking In the magazines And in the interviews She's got a People magazine interview She's got all this stuff Happening right now Speaking of rollouts <laughs>